Well, here's one. China hopes to grow potatoes on the far side of the moon in space mission. You won't believe this one. That's right, China hopes to grow potatoes on the far side of the moon in space mission. This one is from Sky News, and it's a doozy. China sends a probe to the rugged mountainous areas of the moon, hoping to explore its mysterious terrain. China says it's opened a new chapter in lunar exploration after sending a rover towards the far side of the moon. The Change 4 lunar probe was launched on a Long March 3B rocket from the southwest Yaijiang Launch Center and is expected to reach its destination sometime around the turn of the year. When are people going to wake up? Please seriously tell me in the comments. Is it going to be this month? Next year? The year after? My goodness, man, what in the world are people believing these days? Well, the terrain of the near side of the moon has many flat areas to touch down on, all right? The far side is rugged and mountainous. <laughs> I mean, look at this picture. The rover is expected to land at the turn of the year on this. Look at that. File pick. Thanks. What's the source? Oh, wait a minute. The source is coming in right now. Uh, oh, we just got in? Yes, CGI Central. That's right, CGICentral.com, where we will give you nice CGI pictures of the moon to show in your articles, whether it's Sky News, BBC, NBC, ABC, CBS. We will give you the right file for your article. Making people believe nonsense like growing potatoes on the far side of the moon. That's right, the part that cannot be verified wonder why they're going to the far side of the moon. It also presents communication difficulties because the far side of the moon always points away from Earth, meaning signals could be blocked. To overcome that, a satellite was blasted into the moon's orbit in May to act as a link between the lander and Earth. Well, yes, that makes sense. Let's blast a satellite just for planting potatoes. Chinese state media said, that the area being targeted was the Arkin Basin to the lunar South Pole region. Ten experiments, six from China and four from abroad, include planting potatoes and other seeds. Well, isn't that beautiful? Then there will be mineral and radiation tests, the news agency said. All right, China, which has been investing billions in its military-run space program, hopes to have a crewed space station by 2022. It would also like to develop a moon base through several manned missions. Manned missions. Well, first of all, we got potatoes. So maybe they're gonna be eating potatoes. Is this what the plan is? Unbelievable here. So Sky News, China hoping to grow potatoes on the far side of the moon. That makes a lot of sense. Why not grow it on the side that faces the earth? Oh, that's right, because our technology has caught up and we will see and we will be able to call their bluff. This is what we see continually, constantly in the news, Sky News, all these news agencies pointing to nonsense like China sending up, you know, rockets and they're going to try to plant seeds and potatoes, potatoes. And again, it's the far side of the moon because our technology has caught up to the near side of the moon, right? The front facing, the one that we all see, no one's ever seen the far side of the moon. And look at all these great, wonderful missions going to the far side of the moon now. This is like the third article that I've actually brought up in the last few months talking about going to the far side of the moon. How convenient that the Nikon P900, the Nikon P1000, the technology has caught up where we can actually verify, we can pretty much verify if we were actually going to that proper side of the moon. But no, we're going to go to the far side of the moon that no one can verify, and we're going to plant potatoes and seeds and do mineral and radiation tests. This is just absolute nonsense. The public, the world, eats this up continually. And it's time to expose the world's lies, and especially one big monster one with the moon. If you honestly believe they went to the moon, it's time to really start looking into the moon landing. The idea that they haven't even been back and has almost been 50 years. I believe that 2019 next year will be the 50th anniversary of the supposed moon landing. And it's time to continually expose the world's lies. The moon landing is a big one because hypothetically, if they didn't go to the moon, how far can they go and why would they lie? This is pretty much to sum up, celebrate truth in what I've been doing from the very start for the last four years, talking 
about the world's lies, but also celebrating the truth. This is what is important when you understand that there has been massive lies put in place to keep us deceived, to keep us away from the true creator of creation. It all starts to make sense. You always understand that there are shadiness going on behind the scenes, not just with the space agencies, but with the science, uh, you know, the scientists that come forward claiming that they know that they, they can tell you exactly what's going on, what the truth is. We're seeing more and more nonstop lies. And this is just one example, planting potatoes on the far side of the moon and people eat this up, literally, pun intended, they literally eat this up, potatoes on the far side of the moon. I, I don't even know, I might have to put SMH, shaking my head, because this is exactly what I'm doing, shaking my head when I realize how ridiculous all of this stuff is getting China planting potatoes on the far side of the moon. How many times do I got to say it? How many times do we have to say it that we've been lied to? And a lot of people are believing this and it's time that we share the news, allow people to wake up to the crazy lies that are perpetuating all throughout the earth. And this is huge, huge one. It's ridiculous, but it's really scary how many people believe in such nonsense. Let's keep exposing the world's lies, celebrate truth. Blessings.